everyone. We are doing lesson 136 today, which is a review of the diphthongs. So first graders, I'm gonna tell you right now, you should pay careful attention to our letter deck because all the diphthongs that we've learned this year are in this deck. So try to listen and watch for what they are. Okay, starting digraph EW, but you're watching for diphthongs. Ready? Digraph EW, trigraph DGE, digraph IE, digraph EI, G, ghost digraph WR, ghost digraph KN, ghost digraph GN, digraph OA, digraph PH, digraph EY, diphthong OU, diphthong digraph OW, Diphthong O I, diphthong O Y, vowel Y, digraph C H, digraph A U, digraph A W, trigraph T C H, final syllable T I O N, combination W H, digraph E A, digraph E W. You got it. Okay. We're coming to our picture cards now. I don't actually think the diphthong cards are in this one. You can watch for them, but I don't think they're here. Starting banana, ready? Banana, a, uh, balloon, b, cube, u, ring, n, zebra, z, elephant, e, equal, e, receipt, e, veil, a, monkey, m, whale, w, key, e, giraffe, j, bridge, j, not, n, wreath, er, nat, n, patch, ch, oil, oi, toy, oi, ah, soap, o, bow, o, lotion, shun, mouse, ow, cow, ow, hmm, keep going on phone, phone, f, faucet, ah, straw, ah, Circle, s, shield, e, pi, i, banana, a. Uh. Oh my goodness, I did not think those diphthongs were in there. And then there they were. Okay, we're doing our affix deck, but here's what I noticed. I've been keeping all the prefixes together and all the suffixes together, and I think that has made it too easy. So I am mixing them all up, prefixes and suffixes, and you're just going to have to watch super carefully to know which one is which. Starting suffix ing. Ready? Suffix ing. Suffix t, t, ed. Suffix es. Suffix e. Suffix er. Suffix est. Suffix ness. Suffix less. Suffix s, s. Suffix lee, suffix full, woo, ready? Prefix pre, prefix dis, prefix un, suffix ing. What, are you kidding me? I actually tried to mix all those up. I tried to mix them so that they wouldn't be all together and then they were all together. I'm gonna mix them again so that tomorrow when we do this, they will be super tricky. And you'll say, Miss Smith, what? And I'll be like, I know. Okay, putting those away and let's come to our spelling sounds. Starting on number one. Oi, diphthong, O-I, final diphthong, O-Y. O I O Y. Mm, my paper's kind of crooked. That's okay. Number two. Ow. Diphthong O U. Final diphthong O W. O U. O W. Number three. What? Combination W H. Good. Number four. E. 
digraph e e comma e final digraph e e comma vowel y you got it digraph e e Number five, R combination, A R. Number six, two things make this sound. Number six, A, uh, U, comma, A. You got it. U. Number seven, A, A consonant E, comma, A final. Digraph A Y. A consonant E. Number eight. A. A. You got it. Number nine. O. O consonant E, comma, O final. Digraph O W O consonant E Number ten Shun Final syllable T I O N O N Good work. Okay, you're welcome to Set your paper aside and I want to do a little bit of review with diphthongs. Um, first of all, let me tell you a mistake that sometimes some teachers make. <laughs> it's kind of funny, can I tell you? It's actually a mistake I used to make until I learned better. Sometimes teachers think that it's called a diphthong with a letter P in the middle, diphthong. But it's not, because look, diphthong is spelled with a digraph PH. And don't you remember we learned that PH says f, f, f. So it's not diphthong, it's diphthong. We do it, it's diphthong. You got it. I want to see if you remember what a diphthong is. Uh, you might have learned it a different way. But how I like to remember it is that a diphthong is when two vowels come together so fast they make one syllable. And I like to clap on the word one to remind me that even though you can hear both vowel sounds, it still just makes one syllable. Like in O-I says oi. Sometimes if you ask kindergartners, kindergartner, how many syllables does oi have? They go like this and they say oi. Oi. Well, it might sound like two syllables, but it's actually just one. So we're going to say a diphthong is two vowels that come together so fast they make, let's do it like this, they make one syllable. Can we try it starting a diphthong is? Ready? A diphthong is two vowels that come together so fast they make one syllable. You got it, okay. We have learned four diphthongs this year. And I wanna see if you remember what they are and what they say. Did you notice during the letter cards, the first diphthong we saw? Okay, I hear some kids saying it. It was O-I-O-Y, you got it. So do me a favor, if you have a whiteboard or even just a piece of paper, will you split it in half? Split it into two sections. At the top of this side, will you write diphthong O, I? And at the top of this side, will you write diphthong O, Y? And then what I want to see is, do you remember how to code your diphthongs? Do you remember what we do? We arc the diphthong. Ooh, that's fun. Will you do it? We arc the diphthong. You got it. So I'm going to arc OI and arc OY. 
And what I want you to do is see if you remember the picture that goes with OI says, oi, oi, oi. I'm going to give you a clue. This is something that you have to put into a car in order for the car to run. It's something you might cook with. You could put it into a pan and cook some vegetables with it. And it rhymes with boil. Will you draw a picture if you know what it is? Oh man, this is a tricky picture. Okay, let's check how you did. You should have drawn a picture of oil. And we say, oil, oi. Will you do it? Oil, oi. You got it. Come next door. Do you remember the picture that we used to go with OY says oi? Give you a clue. This is something kids like to play with. And it rhymes with boy. Will you draw a picture if you know what it is? Oh my goodness, this one is tricky to draw too. Okay, ready? Let's check it. You should have drawn a picture of a toy. This is my little Jack in the Box. See, he's jumping out to say hi. Way silly, I know, but we say toy, oi. We do it. Toy, oi. You got it. And Here's my question for you before we go to our next diphthong. Point if you know, point on your board, which one of these do we use at the end of a word? Only one of them can come at the end of a word. Point if you know. Say it if you know it, diphthong. Oh, why? Yeah, oh, why is the one that comes at the end. That's why we call it final diphthong, oh, why? Will you do that with me? That's why we call it final diphthong, oh, why? You got it. And of course, OI only comes at the beginning and in the middle, which is why, did you notice I put our handy dandy sign back here? OI at the beginning or in the middle, final OY at the end to say oi, oi, oi. Ooh, to say oi, oi, oi. You got it. Okay, erase, erase. And Let's do our next set of diphthongs. There's only one other set, which is kind of sad. I like diphthongs. And would you split your board in half again? A line all the way down the middle. On this side, on the first side, will you write diphthong O-U? It says ow. And on this side, will you write O-W? It says ow. Okay, without me helping you, do you remember how to code it? Do you know what we do? We have to arc the diphthong. You got it. We do it. We have to arc the diphthong. Yep. So let's go ahead and arc both diphthongs. And do you remember which picture reminds us that OU says ow, ow, ow? Give you a clue. It's a little animal that I don't like, not even a little. Ooh, their little ugly pink tails. <laughs> Draw it if you know what it is. Give you a clue. It rhymes with house, even though it's way smaller. Okay, let's check it. You should have drawn mouse owl. Will you say it? Mouse, ow, you got it. There's my little mouse. I put him smiling because he's not trying to be scary. Come next door. What's the picture card that reminds us OW says ow? I'll give you a clue. It's another animal, but it's way bigger than a mouse. And it rhymes with how. Will you draw it if you think you know it? Oh my goodness, Miss Smith, you have got to take some art lessons. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, time's up. Let's check it. You should have drawn a picture of a cow. Yep, that's a cow. We say cow, ow. Ready? Cow, ow. You got it. 
Point if you know which one of these do we use at the beginning or in the middle of a word. Would you point on your board if you know? You got it, diphthong, O-U, good. We use O-U to say ow in the beginning and middle, O-W to say ow at the end of a word. Okay, um, erase, erase. I think let's keep doing some practice on our whiteboards, but before we do that, I wonder if we could do something. Remember how we said a diphthong is two vowels that make one syllable? I wonder if we could go like this for O-I and O-Y and go O, I, OI, and bring them together so fast they make one syllable. Can we try it starting O-I? Ready? O, I, OI. Good. Can we do the same thing for O-Y? And do you know we're using letter Vs for vowels? Because they're both vowels. Okay, so start O, Y, OI. Ready? O, Y, OI. You got it. Okay, let's do O, U, OW. Ready? O, U, OW. <laughs> let's do O, W, OW. Ready? O, W, OW. I love that. Okay, let's come to our whiteboards, or of course, if you have a piece of paper, that's okay too. This is a word that means if something is a little bit wet, we would say it is moist. What word? Moist. Would you spell moist? Think about which diphthong do you need in the middle of moist to say oi, oi, oi. Okay, can we check it? Moist should be M-O-I-S-T. O-I in the middle to say oi, oi, oi. Erase, erase. Next word, would you spell, mm, no, let's not do a word with a suffix yet. Spell for me the word joy. What word? Joy. Joy. Like spelling brings me so much joy. Okay, let's check it. Joy should be J-O-Y. O-Y at the end says oi, oi, oi. Erase, erase. Next word. Okay, now let's do a word, a word with a suffix. Choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in spoiled. Ready? Spoil. D. Root word. Spoil. Start root word. Spoil. Spoil. Oi, oi. Add your suffix. Spoil. D. Spoil. D. What suffix says D? Okay, here we go. Spoiled should be S P O I L and a suffix E D. You got it. I forgot to code my diphthong O I says OI. And actually, guess what? I'll make you deal. If you don't want to code everything in these words, if you want to just code the diphthongs, that would be totally fine. Erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word soy. What word? Soy. Okay, can we check it? Soy should be S-O-Y, arc the diphthong. Like some people drink soy milk, erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word crouch. What word? Crouch. Think about what says ow, ow, ow in the middle of crouch. Crouch. Okay, let's check crouch. First of all, I hope you noticed C in front of R to say the K sound. It should be C-R-O-U-C-H. O-U says ow in the middle of crouch. Nice work. Remember to fix it if you need to. Except I just thought of something funny. Can we erase just the CR? <laughs> if it didn't have the CR instead of crouch, it would say, ouch, you got it. It would say, ouch, like, ouch, that hurt. Erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word, how. What word? How. How. 
A, can we check it? How should be H-O-W. We use O-W at the end of how to say ow. Erase, erase. Next word to spell for me the word now. What word? Now. Oh my goodness, that was too easy, I think. Now should be N-O-W, arc the diphthong. Erase, erase. Last word. Can we get our choppers out? Tell me the root word of suffix in mouths. Ready? Mouth, s, root word, mouth. What says ow in the middle of mouth? Add your suffix, mouths, mouths. Okay, can we check it? Mouths should be M-O-U T-H-S, O-U in the middle says ow, ow, ow in mouths. Good work, erase, erase. And let's put whiteboards away or paper, whatever you're using. Let's put those away and we will come on our paper to number 11. We'll come back to our worksheet. Okay, by number 11, spell for me the word. Mm. Let's see. I'm not sure you still need those, so I'm going to try still standing in front of them. Number 11, spell for me the word point. What word? Point. What says oi, oi, oi? Okay, will you spell point? Starting P. Ready? P O I N T. O I says oi and point. You got it. Okay, number 12 is a compound word, so will you get your hands up so you can tell me the two words? Tell me the two words you hear in cowboy. Ready? Cow boy. First word, cow. Think about what says ow at the end of cow. And then add boy. Cow boy. Okay, will you spell Cowboy starting C. Ready? C O W B O Y. Good. I hope you got O W says ow, O Y says oi at the end of each of those words. If not, fix it. Number 13, spell for me the word ground. What word? Ground. Like you stand on the ground. ground. Okay, will you spell ground starting G? Ready? G-R-O-U-N-D. Good work. O-U says ow in ground. Number next, spell for me the word plow. What word? Plow. Plow. Okay, will you spell plow starting P? Ready? P L O W. You got it, plow. Okay, up at the top by number 15, spell for me the word coin. What word? Coin. That says oi in coin. Okay, will you spell coin starting C? C O I N. You got it, coin. Next one, spell for me the word south. What word? South. South. Okay, will you spell south for me starting S? Ready? S-O-U-T-H. You got it. O-U says ow in south. Next one, choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in toys. Ready? Toy, z, root word, toy. Root word, toy. Add your suffix, toys. And will you spell it? Ready? T, O, 
Y S. Good. O Y says oi at the end of root word. Toy. Number 18. Hmm, this one is super tricky. We're going to try it anyway. Spell for me the word house. What word? House. I'll give you a clue. There's an S E at the end. House. There's an S E at the end. Okay, will you spell house starting H? Ready? H O U S E. Good. O U says ow in house. Okay, let's come to number 19. We will code these words and match them to their pictures. And in case you're wondering, do I have a story at the end of coding Miss Smith? If I code it right with you, then do I get to hear a story? Yes, but it's kind of a painful story today. It's one that ugh, it still makes me kind of hurt when I think about it, but I will tell you. Okay, number 19, box your suffix ing. Root word, O-U says ow, ark it. Will you cover up your suffix? Read the root word first, starting S-P-R, get ready. Spur out, whole word sprouting you got it like the plant was sprouting it was growing hmm where's the picture there it is down there match it okay come downstairs box your suffix ing root word oi says oi ark it cover up your suffix read it starting b get ready boil whole word Boiling, you got it. Do you see the picture of boiling water? Match it. 21, arc your diphthong oi says oi. Split it between the two words, the second L and the B. Breathe above the E. Can we read that one word at a time starting B? Get ready. Bell, boy, what word? Bell boy. You got it, a bellboy is somebody who greets you if you come to a hotel. Match it. 22, combination, uh, actually let's back up. Diphthong, O-W says ow, arc it. Combination, E-R says er, arc it. And then will you split it between the two words, between the R and the P? And then, breathe above the O. In this first word, guess what? Vowel pattern. O is a vowel, E is a vowel, W is a consonant. Split it after the consonant. So we're gonna start with flow. Ready? Uh, yeah, starting FW, get ready. Flow, er, pot. What word? Flower pot. You got it, that word is flower pot. Hmm, where, oh, there it is, clear up there. It's just an empty flower pot. It doesn't even have any flowers in it yet. 23, diphthong OU says ow, arc it. And then will you split it between the two words, between the P and G? Breathe above the A. Okay, one word at a time, starting C. Get ready, camp, ground, what word? Campground, you got it, campground, where we go camping. Uh, there it is up there, match it. 24, box your suffix ing. Root word, diphthong, O-Y says, oi, arc it. And then in the root word, nice and small, will you find a vowel pattern? E is a vowel, O is a vowel, consonant, consonant. Split the syllables, breathe above the E. Okay, let's do one syllable at a time, and we'll add the root word at the end. Starting E, get ready. N, joy, whole word, enjoying. You got it, enjoying, like, oh my goodness, I'm enjoying phonics so much. Match it. She's enjoying her ice cream cone. 25, box your suffix ed says d. Root word oi says oi, arc it. Will you do just the root word first, starting C? Get ready. K, oi, o, whole word, coiled. You got it. If it's coiled, it means it's wrapped around and around. Just like that hose. Match it. Last one, box your suffix S. 
Root word, diphthong OW says ow, arc it. Digraph, AI says A, underline cross out macron. Will you split it between the N and the S in the middle? Good, and let's read one syllable at a time. Starting D, get ready. Down, stare, whole word, downstairs. You got it, downstairs. Do you see the picture? Match it. Okay, I told you I would tell you a story, and my story, I actually thought of it to go with the word boiling. Ugh, this was so sad. When I was 12 years old, my neighbor across the street said to me, hey Sarah, will you come and babysit my two little kids and I'll pay you some money? And I said, ooh, okay. So I walked across the street to her house and she said, the only problem is my kids haven't had lunch yet. Would it be okay if you made them some macaroni and cheese? And I had never made macaroni and cheese, but I said, okay, because I thought it's probably not too hard to follow the directions on the box. So what I did is I looked at the directions on the box and it said that you had to take a pot of water, put it on the stove, let it boil, and then add the noodles to it. And I thought, okay, I could do that. So I took the pot and I filled it up with water and I turned on the stove and then I set the pot on the stove and I thought, hmm, I wonder if this is going to start boiling soon or if it's gonna take a long time. Because I've never boiled water before and I don't know, I don't know how long it takes before it starts bubbling and getting really hot and letting off steam. So guess what I did? I took the pot of water off the burner and then I took my two fingers like this and I decided I'm just gonna touch the burner and see if it's hot enough to boil the water yet. And I went like this and I just touched it really fast. But what I didn't know is that it had heated up so quickly that that burner was already red hot. And even though it wasn't red, when I touched it, it burned my finger. Ow, 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 ow. And I had to take my two fingers and go run them under cold water and I had to let the water just run and run and run and run and run over my fingers because they were so badly burned. And after that, when I looked at my two fingers, I could see I had two giant blisters going across both of them. It hurt so badly and the blisters didn't go away for a couple of months. It was a really bad burn. So guess what I learned from that? Never, ever, 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 ever Touch a hot stove with your fingers. If you think it's hot, don't touch it. <laughs> Just keep cooking until the water boils. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for learning about diphthongs. See you later. Goodbye.